Thank you for joining us tonight. Welcome to Poltergeist and Perrymore's 1991 Halloween Spooktacular. I am your host, Null Fratu. <laughs> Whoa, that's cool. That's just like home. Tonight, We'll be showing you exotic lingerie, scantily clad women with loose morals, brought to you by Poltergeists and Perry Moores. Oh, exciting. Maybe I can find something for my guru friend. <laughs> and then we will be joined by world famous brain surgeon, Dr. X. And he will be doing a crazy experiment and show us inside the mind of I don't know what, but stay tuned and you will find out. <sighs> oh, scary. And finally, we will be visited by the delightfully fiendish Janet Doon, head of the PTA of Henderson. And she was going to bring us some spooky, spectacular, terrifying trick or treating safety tips for the tots. Oh, look, it's Headley. <laughs> Thanks, Noel, for a two. I just got cut loose from some dead meat, and I'm looking for some new skin to live in, if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> I guess you could say he's got the head of the game. <laughs> I crack myself up. <sighs> Focus. <sighs> but first, we must take a commercial break, and then we will be back with the, the big guns, the lingerie menagerie featuring the latest sexy fashions from Poltergeist and Paramours. <sighs> Hot. It'll be just like one of those late night pay-per-view programs that we watch on Channel 69. <laughs> we'll be right back. Our county eats a Reese's Peanut Butter Cup. I like to eat the peanut butter first. <laughs> There's no wrong way to eat a Reese's. He's back. Okay, let's see your hands. Pair of bases. I'm out. 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 I'm out. I'm in. Deal with it. This is Diggs. <laughs> because MGM Grand Adventures is turning into a Scream Park. Scream Park 2, the nightmare continues. <laughs> hey, this guy needs a drink! If I wasn't already dead, I could feel the heart beating out of my chest right now. I can really feel the blood coursing through my 
uh, veins. <laughs> and they have such big, round, beautiful uh, eyes, eyes up here. Um, uh, seriously, from the bottom of my heart, I wish I could make them my immortal midnight snack. <laughs> mm, tasty. But next, we have Dr. X. World famous brain surgeon with his mind melding experiment in terror. <laughs> but now, dance. This morning, Billy looked like any other boy, but as the moon rose, he turned into a werewolf. He used new Pa's Halloween makeup kits. His friends did too. Look, Mike's a vampire. Amy's a ghost. Pa's makeup is safer than masks. It never blocks vision and it's hypoallergenic too. So watch your kids turn into the creatures they really are with new Pa's Halloween makeup kits. Ladies and gentlemen, please put your fins and flippers together for the world-renowned psychosurgeon, Dr. X. Welcome to the laboratory. I'm Dr. X. Before we get started, there's one thing we need to do. This device can be used to alter the perception of reality. It's time and shape. I am born again, 420 roasted crispy style baby. <laughs> Tonight, using this very equipment, we will do an experiment in time. Over here is the Waypoint Magnetic Disruptor, or WMD. <laughs> this one's a little spicy. And this is the Time Traversal Selector, or TTS. I don't even know what that means. My grandparents were right. God damn it! I've wasted my whole life pursuing a career I knew I wouldn't make any money on. <laughs> okay, okay, you've got this. Get together for the children. I should mention I've created several batches of my famous suicide juice, just in case something goes horribly wrong. Let the experiment be. <laughs> my god, it worked! We seem to have landed in some kind of chalupacabra nest. Interesting. Oh my god, it's a fucking T-Rex! God, giant bee just stung my fucking eye, man! <laughs> Gather your thoughts. You're okay. 420 for life, baby. Let's take a little looky dooski around. A certified buffet of celestial extravagance. Gather your thoughts, observe, be in the moment. Ah, this truly is God's mistake! Ah! You survived. You're a survivor. You've always known this about yourself. I think we might be logged onto the World Wide Web now. Hey, I wonder if they still have that show Home Improvement. I love that show. Oh, hell yes. I fucking love this riff. I'm rock hard for Tim the Toolbag Tingler. Oh, feel those sick licks, baby. <laughs> well, I have accomplished everything I've set out to do with my life's work. I suppose it's time to end my life permanently with this suicide juice. Goodbye to my wife, Mrs. X, and our seven children. I hope you find a way to provide for yourselves. Ah, yes, right on top, just like so. Ah, God, God, ah, Jesus Christ! Why did I have to make it so painful? Now, I am dead. Cold 
mandarins, black cats, potions, witchcraft. For these people, pagan holidays are real. They're not a satanic cult. They don't even believe in the devil. They're children of the dark, and they're here in Las Vegas. Channel 13 News reporter Luke Michaels takes you into forbidden rituals to witness ceremonies never before seen by those outside the coven. Witchcraft, a Channel 13 News special report. Tonight at 5.30 and 11 p.m. Buy a large pizza and get our boot to boot. That's right. These kids know that during the month of October at Pistol Pete's Pizza, you can get the official Pistol Pete's boot mug free with the purchase of any large pizza. <laughs> Drinks just taste better when you're drinking from the official Pistol Pete's boot mug. And during October, it's free with the purchase of any large pizza. A $2 value, yours free. So buy a large pizza and get our boot to boot. Only at Pistol Pete's Pizza with five locations right here in Las Vegas and Henderson. When I was alive, I owned three snakes. They each represented the different facets of my personality. My fighting ability, my academic ability, and my ability to perform sexually. None of those do me any good now. I'm just a head. Up next, we're going to take a behind the scenes look at poltergeists and paramours. My name is Amalia. I own and operate the horror lingerie and apparel company, Poltergeist and Paramours. I started Poltergeist and Paramours in 2016 when I was looking for horror-inspired lingerie for myself and it didn't exist, so I decided to learn how to make it. From there, my friends saw what I was doing and loved it, and they wanted it, so I started making it for them, and it sort of took off from there, and it's grown and sort of, you know, snowballed ever since. Expanding past lingerie into horror apparel and streetwear, my main goal has been to really design clothes for the fashion-forward horror fan. There's a lot of challenges in owning a business, especially clothing, in 2021. I'm not sure what the future holds, but I really want to keep expanding and pushing boundaries of what I can do and creating things that haven't been made before. I want to inspire more horror fans to wear whatever the fuck they want. Right after this, we have local mother Janet Thune and her weekly court-ordered segment, Isn't That Nice? Please, don't change the channel. Did you know that you can enjoy a wonderful fat burger almost any time, day or night? I want a man with a fat burger in his hand. When I'm not busy embalming bodies, which isn't often, I like to relax with some good family reading. Let me introduce you to my personal library of Fangoria, the leader in horror entertainment. What a fascinatingly hideous cover of Freddy Krueger. 
and devilishly candid reviews of the latest horror videos and gloriously bloody color photos from the newest Friday the 13th. They're all here in Fangoria. Can I persuade you to subscribe? This is Fango editor Tony Tapone asking you to enter the world of Fangoria. Only $12.49 for a special six-month video subscription. Send check or money order to Fangoria Magazine, 475 Park Avenue South, New York, 10016. Customers! Ah, oh, let the dead bodies wait. Yeah! Hi, I'm Dr. Dreadful, and this is the Dr. Dreadful Food Lab. Makes lots of gross things, and then you eat them. Dr. Dreadful's monster skin. <laughs> mm. Care for a tasty tarantula, fly, cockroach? You can make swarms! And now magic powder, stir, and... Monster brains! Oh, fruity! The Dr. Dreadful Food Lab makes gross things again and again. It's totally dreadful! <laughs> My goodness, I didn't see you there. Welcome to today's episode of Isn't That Nice? I was just getting these repurposed Halloween treats ready for donation to the local homeless shelter. <laughs> mm, isn't that nice? On today's episode of Isn't That Nice, I would like to talk about trick-or-treat safety. Tip number one, always wear a costume that you can move around in. And if you wear a mask, make sure to have full visibility. When available, makeup is a safer option as masks can obstruct your vision and make it harder for you to accidentally step on dog do. Tip number two, carry a flashlight. I cannot stress enough the importance of visibility. Carrying a flashlight will ensure that you don't accidentally step into the road or on someone's pumpkin or on excrement. That is nice. <laughs> and the last tip is if, you're if your friends tell you of a local legend of a pirate's grave filled with gold and force you to go out searching for it, it's best just to say no. It's not been proven yet that pirates actually settled in this town. So, um, you know, I, Never mind. No. <laughs> you know what? This um <clears throat> This reminds me of a story I heard a long time ago of a little girl. A beautiful, innocent little girl. Just keep it together, Janet. Keep it together, please. This reminds me of a story I heard a long time ago of a little girl who's friends decided to play a, a little Halloween prank on her that ruined her entire life. What kind of prank could ruin someone's entire life, you might ask? The kind of prank that caused her to defecate all over herself uncontrollably. That's what kind. <clears throat> the defecation got everywhere. It just absolutely ruined her cute little white parrot costume and it just dripped down all the way down in between her toes. It was just so squishy. And she had to walk three miles home like that and no one would help her. They all just laughed at her and, and pointed at her and, and said, turn bird. <laughs> turn bird. And on that fateful Halloween night, her entire life was ruined. 
her parents couldn't face the humiliation of having a turd bird for a daughter. So they left and went 400 miles away to Splitsville, USA. <laughs> no one knows where the girl is now, <laughs> except for one person. I know where she is. I know exactly where turd bird is. I, I know because she is right here. I'm turd bird. <laughs> I'm Turd Bird. There was no, no pirate's gold. I'm Turd Bird. I'm Turd Bird. I'm Turd Bird. Isn't that nice? Back to you, Nosferatu. With tips like those, the children are guaranteed to have a spooky and safe Halloween night. And you can find, isn't that nice, Halloween safety packet at all participating Village East pharmacies. Well, that is our show, folks. Special thank you to Amalia, Poltergeist and Perrymores, all of the beautiful models, Dr. X, Janet Thune, and, of course, my special friend, Hadley. <laughs> Hadley! Adios, amigos. It's time for me to return to my home planet. <laughs> You're a real head case. <laughs> now, seriously, where can a vampire like me go get a bite to eat in this neck of the woods? Get it? I said bite in the neck, you know, like, it's a vampire joke. If you have to explain it, it's not funny. Anyways, good night and pleasant screams. <laughs> Let's dance.